So here we have some experiments I was doing with some springs and the only thing that changed in between these is the distance between here and here for the spring. So this one is just zero. The amount of stretchiness it has is a lot more limited and it compresses just like that. Kind of goes to one direction. Slightly more and compression is the same. And this is the first one where we can compress it enough where it won't compress any further without. And this is the same thing as well. Go pretty far, but it's not super useful. And what I want is something like this where if I compress it, it's not gonna bend out like this. So I came up with some ideas. I have this here, it broke. It was a little hard to print, but the idea was this, but it can still shoot off in a direction. Not, not my favorite idea. Also, it's pretty hard to manufacture because when I was taking off the supports, this broke. I also came up with the spring here. It has a lot of holes and you can stick a rod right through them. But this one has a problem here. This is not a smooth rod. So it's getting caught on these ridges. Because you know, it can compress a little bit more, not a ton. This here is a, just an idea. I want to try something where the springs aren't the same. It's not shooting out this side anymore. It's shooting out towards the front and back. So through here, not sure if that's better or not. But when I put it on pressure like this, the outside goes out on both sides, but the center ones, they stay relatively in the same direction. So I'm not sure what to think of that. 